there are a ton of really good free and inexpensive video editors out there on the market. DaVinci Resolve comes to mind. But I must admit that many years ago, I did edit a lot of videos on something called Windows Movie Maker, something that we used to just have there as part of the suite of apps in Windows. There really isn't something like that now. Well, maybe until now, because in some recent builds of Windows 11, Microsoft has actually added a web app solution called ClipChamp. If I'm not mistaken, they just purchased this company to kind of make this be a thing. So in this video, I'm going to open up ClipChamp, who finally now has a set of subscriptions. It is free to use, and now the free version. These subscriptions have been reworked, and now I think it might actually be worth using. So we're going to open it up, and you're going to kind of see me in real time explore ClipChamp and determine if this thing looks like it's any good. Okay, so here we are on ClipChamp. And like I said, this is a web app. This is just running inside of sort of a web browser shell. So there's nothing to download. If you're on a recent build of Windows 11, I believe it, I don't know if it's out of the beta channel yet, but if it's not, it is coming. It will just be there in your list of apps. When you load it up, this is kind of what you will see after it asks you to choose your plan. So before 1080p exports was actually behind a paywall. You actually had to pay monthly to have 1080p exports, which is a little bit ridiculous. But let's look at what we do now get with these tiers sort of reconfigured. For $9 a month, you're going to get 1080p exports, which is great, but you're also going to get unlimited cloud storage and unlimited audio stock. So let's talk about this unlimited cloud storage. So this is a web app. So you could start a project here on your PC and then go to a laptop and presumably pick up where you left off. That is a pretty cool, pretty interesting thing to be able to do. I'm assuming that when I go to edit a file, I'm assuming that just uploads that file because this is happening sort of in the cloud. And then you have stock audio there as well. For $20 a month, you get all of that plus a branding kit. I'm not really sure what that means. $40 a month, you can see their video stock, image stock, and everything else we just mentioned. So we're obviously going to stick with the current free plan. Let's see what we see under here under brand kit. Every video is on brand with a brand kit. Okay, so you can basically add in logos and fonts. And then when you go to make your stuff, I guess it'll sort of streamline that. They also do have templates. So let's say slideshows social social handles oh that's actually quite cool so you could have little like i have on my thing or pops up and asks you to subscribe you can make something like that here that's actually extremely useful and i may take advantage of this and make some of these so this is gaming and then you've got your webcam there you've got an intro here for gaming and an outro outro card this is pretty nice you've actually got a lot of pretty decent stuff here we're just going to start a video here and we see here this is sort of our editing suite and I'm going to actually full screen this so that it'll be a little bit easier to use. So over here on the left you've got your media which is where you're going to drag your files we'll do that in a moment. You also have recording creates you can do a screen record text to speech camera recording and then screen and camera recording. So kind of what I do with OBS you could kind of replicate that here with this. And let's try that. Let's go screen and camera. Let's allow access to microphone and camera. And it should, looks like another application is using your camera. Well, yeah, of course it is. Let's see if we can get that to work anyways. It actually doesn't care. And yeah, I mean, at that point, you can make this bigger or smaller. Can I move it around? No, it doesn't look like I, I can move it around. So I'm pretty much stuck here. Edit your layout when you're finished. So that's actually quite interesting. Camera recording, there we go. So I could just film straight through this should I want to do that. And then screen recording just popped up right down here as well. I'm not sure if this would get both monitors or what's going on there, but at any rate, pretty cool. You do then have access to some of those templates right here in this side menu. So that's cool to have quick access to that. Music and sound effects, you have a list of different songs, which as you see, some of these are behind a paywall and some of these are free. And this music is there to be just added straight into your stuff. Stock videos, which again, I think some of these are free, like these subscribe panels. And some of these don't look half bad. You got a little sound effect in there. A nice, easy thing to be able to use. Stock images, text, which has several different sort of templates. Graphics. Of course, you need your list of transitions. And then that brand kit should you build one. So I'm going to now drag over a file. This is a clip of gameplay of me playing some Warzone the other night. And this 
clip is going to be about 15 minutes long. So let's see how long this takes. Oh, and as you see here, you can actually import stuff from Google Photos, Dropbox, Zoom, uh, Microsoft OneDrive, Drive, or Dropbox. Actually, that's Dropbox. I don't know what that is, Box. Or from your phone. How does that work? Let's click on this here. Let's do from phone. Scan with your phone's camera to open the website to select your media. This is actually quite neat, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to add it directly from here. So it says preparing. Let's see what happens here. Does this actually need to be uploaded to the cloud? Okay, so as you see here, it says your media is not stored in the cloud. So this is happening locally. Now, if you were paying for the subscription, I reckon that would have been uploaded to the cloud and then it would have been accessible on different things. If you click, click this here, if you, if you delete a source file or switch computers, your media will be unavailable. So there you go. Let's drag this down here onto our timeline. We should be able to zoom in and zoom out here. Looks like the scroll wheel with control lets us zoom in and zoom out. We can select different places here. Spacebar will let it play. S is our split button, and that works relatively quickly. Honestly, this, this is working pretty well. I will say that moving around the timeline is actually pretty smooth. So let's go back here. We're gonna, we're gonna make a little clip here. So I'm gonna run up these stairs and come to this window. We're gonna split it here. And we're going to delete that first clip. I wish that that immediately then put this at the beginning, but we can move it over there on our own. And let's let this roll a bit further Straight. as I <laughs> get rid of that guy. And let's split it again. Woo! can zoom in a bit here so we can see this a bit easier. As I make my approach on this building, let's split There's again. Two. We'll delete that mm -hmm. clip. And we can just click this again, and that will bring it back Doing over. There. I wish that was automatic, though. And there's another quick kill on Warzone. And let's go ahead and split there again. And let's split again here at my Gulag match. We'll delete. Can I just hit delete again? Nope, got to click on the button. And then we will come to the end of the Gulag match. We'll split again and we will delete. Okay, so we've got a little clip here. So let's see what happens with these subscribe panels. Let's do this one here. And we can drag it to about there, right? That's pretty cool. And that pops up directly on top. Is there any way for me? I can move it. Maybe we're going to put it down here it's already got the transparency in already in place that is pretty good guys i want you guys to know something people actually pay for these things to be made custom versions of these things to be made and that is just right there free in this that's actually really good so from there we can click on the export button we can do drafts social media or hd so let's go ahead and do hd and it's going to go ahead and process process this thing and then from there, you can save it directly to Drive, YouTube, TikTok, OneDrive, Dropbox, or Box. I don't, again, Dropbox, Box, I'm not familiar with these. Or even LinkedIn, which is a kind of a weird thing to be able to upload directly to, but whatever. Or create a video link just to send directly to someone. That's actually a pretty nifty thing. Now, this is taking quite a long time. This is relatively slow. And I don't know exactly, um, is it using, let's see here. ClipChamp here is using about 45% of my CPU and obviously my GPU, I don't believe is being uh, utilized pretty much at all. So this is all happening on the CPU side of things. So exporting is going to be not hardware accelerated and pretty slow. Looks like it's basically exporting as quickly as the video is played. And we're not gonna start our free trial. And then it is now downloading in a, in a weird way. It is now downloading that video and if i go to my downloads there is my file there and it looks Where fine no no real Straight quality down. loss here so honestly there's quite a bit of decent stuff there even with the free version if you're just looking to just quickly edit a clip i think now with the fact that you can actually export 1080p which is good enough for most people i think this is a viable replacement for windows movie maker back in the day it's a little bit slow in terms of exporting from what i'm used to that's something that's hardware accelerated but it's very lightweight right didn't require me installing anything download anything it was just there for me to use which is pretty nice and there are actually quite a few different resources here in this thing like you know i could slap on there at the end a little button titles templates fonts there's a lot of functionality in this thing again for free i'm actually much more impressed 
than I thought I was gonna be. Guys, thanks for stopping by for my little explorative demo of the ClipChamp soon to be built-in video editor in Windows 11. If you don't have Windows 11 and you just thought that looked cool and you wanna try it right now, go to clipchamp.com. You can use it right now. It's a web app. It's there for everybody. Compatibility is effectively universal. So like I said, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.